Or Snake. It's, it's in the single digits. It's one of the fastest tilts in the game that kills the easiest. <laughs> it just has a lot of cooldown if you miss it. Makes sense. All right, we got... Oh, he's going Donkey Kong. I don't know if that one guy knows the matchup with Donkey Kong against Ken. I was purposely warming him up with Donkey Kong, so he should be fine. What do you tell him? To space him out and stuff? You can try to... DK is more more in, in, inclined to space out because he has the options to do it. Because, you know, he has like he has like Jigglypuff back air, but better. Oh, yeah. Not going to kill, but... Ding dong. The, the boot like ding dong? I don't know what they call it this time. Doink! Oh! He good knocked out. That's good. Good, good so stuff to Naito for being able to press as many buttons on his controller to get out of that one. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's it. I think it's about Ken. I don't think he has many multi hits besides Tatsu that actually break DK's uh, side B armor. Recovering. That's it. Yep. And the thing is about DK and Ken, since DK is like really big, yeah. it's super easy to actually like just combo him and kill, get a kill from just by touching him. Yeah, because he's very big. Itatsu running, dashing in, baiting out the approach. Oh, that's not it. Ooh. Down smash. And he's dead. Oh, he timed it no, wrong. He's not. There you go. Oh that's. I don't know if that's true, but I know it happens. <laughs> yep. Oh. He's like, I'm gonna spike you back. Like, nope. nope. Too small. That's it. Heavy. Heavy up tilt. Good for catching landings. And yeah. DK has a really hard time with landing, actually. A lot of his landing tools, it's literally if you're in front or behind him. That's it. And he's not dead. He, I think he was trying to go for heavy Shoryu. Yeah. And Wait, so he's... You could do a light and a heavy Shoryu? Yeah. And see how it doesn't do the flames? The, yeah. the he, when, it, when it's the flames, he does a heavy like that. <laughs> this is Street Fighter, guys. We don't jump against Ken. I did it. So how do you do like the heavy and the non-heavy? The non heavy, like in general, like as the characters? Yeah. yeah. I play mostly heavies. I know, but like, how do you do the heavy and the non heavy, like with Ken and Ryu? Oh, Ken and Ryu? How do they deal with it, or how. How do you play the matchup, or how? No, I mean, like, how do you do, like, um. Oh, the, the he heavy. Attacks, the heavy oh. attack or the non heavy attack? Just, just like in the old Street Fighter, like Street Fighter 1, not Street Fighter 2. You yeah. press the button as hard as, or you hold the button for a little longer. So like a little longer, you do the heavy, and then you do medium, and then you do a light by tapping it. So it's light, medium, heavy. Oh. And then how do you do like the fire sh uh, Hadouken? The fire Hadouken, Ken can't do that. Only Ryu can. Oh. But he does have heavy, medium, and uh, and light, uh, Shoryu. Where it goes, it goes a little faster each time you do, uh, depending on how you hold it. Or how long you hold it. Like if you do short, if you do um, Hadoken input, if you lightly tap it, the the Hadoken will go slow. But if you hold it, it will go fast. Oh. Just like an actual Street Fighter, but we do either the, the light heavier buttons. But in this game, we don't have light heavy buttons, so I gotta improvise. Yep. Oh. Nope. You didn't get killed. Yeah, side B isn't really gonna guarantee to kill. Like, especially someone who knows how to match is not gonna guarantee a kill for like below 115, 110. And he's dead. He has armor in the up B. You just all you have to do is hold it, shield it. Oh, we should have grabbed him out of it. Boom. Sure, you can. Okay. Oh, he's already down to one stock. See that? Oh, okay. Okay. You got a little ledge cancel right there. See if we can try to get Ken to like at least 50. Okay, 45 works, 45 works. Yeah, I, I think Ken's like, 
technically compared, like, he's not compared. I think he's declared dead by, like, 85, 90 if he gets grabbed off stage. Or he gets grabbed on the ledge. But the thing is, DK is guaranteed dead if he gets hit by up till around 65, 70. Oh. These boys are spot dodging. Robert uses up tilt. I wonder if he'll use up tilt this game. Uh, with DK, it's not really that good. It's one of the more, like, worst anti airs But it does kill. That's what makes it cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Stanky leg on his shin! Alright. Nido can bring this back. He can. Yep, he can. It just takes one conversion, and I think one more conversion after that, and he can set up for sure you. But he just has to watch out for that one guy's uh, that one guy's approach, or watching his approach. Back air. I think at this point, Bear is going to be the best thing that DK can do right now. And he's dead. Nothing you can do about that. Oh, you did not. Oh, he survived. How? Man, I hope Nido wins. He's oh, he that's it, that's it. Oh what? wait, what? wait, hold up, hold up. Two epic. Oh, that's, that's it. Oh, that's it. Ah! Oh, wow. All he did was side B and won. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm tilted for him. He was at max rage on Smashville. I don't care how good you DI'd. Why are you so big, Robert? Because that's just He's how He's large. It is. He's extra large. Super size. That's what his sex says. Super size. Look at that. Super size. Like he, he's not even extra, like extra large times three. He's super size. Yeah. You know what super size were back in the day, right? I think before you were born, um, we had they, they had a thing at McDonald's where, you know how we they have extra, they have large and oh, mediums yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Back in the day, they had a thing called super size. Like let's say like you know a large fries is about like eight big, like about as big as your controller. A super size was about this big. Yes. It was it was pretty bad. <laughs> that's, we don't have it. that's basically your meal for the entire day. And yeah, that's in your meal for the entire week if you eat in a super sized meal. <laughs> this is life. And how much would it be? Like, I have no, I don't remember. This is before the recession, so it's like pretty, it was pretty cheap. He actually went sick. He blew himself, blew himself up. How fast he Like, the louder that he shouts at, isn't that, like, the faster it goes or something? Um, I think, but he does have two different voice clips for Hadouken. Yeah. He has the true Hadouken, which you do the Street Fighter input, which is yeah. down forward, down a, a quarter circle forward into any attack button. And, um, and if you just do neutral B, it does, it does one single voice clip, but it's not as powerful. Well, snake? Well, but then, wouldn't you need to have like tap down off or anything? No, because you're only going quarter circle. Quarter circle forward, not up. Uh, but it is optimal to play Rio without tap jump. Even though in Street Fighter you jump with up, he's not dead. Snake is way too heavy. And he has no reach. That's not it. Oh, never mind. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last. Last stock right now, they're both at even 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 count on the, on the set. Ooh, okay. Nice. Oh. They're both trading hits. You better get your Better stay away by the C4. That one oh. guy is gonna have to win by like gaining stage control and keeping Ken off the stage. And like yeah. making sure that Ken doesn't get all up in his face. Yeah, that's what Ken strives on. Ken strives on stage control and it's like he doesn't have the best 
on stage game or ground game. But his punishes on the ground are what makes him good. The thing is about S Snake, he has good off stage and on stage pressure. Because, you know, grenades and C4s and stuff. But the thing is, his frame rate is pretty weak besides up tilt. But he can just bait the up tilt in the end of the day. Uh oh. That's it. That's it. Isn't Snake a light character? No, he's one of the heavier ones. It's just that he hit him. I think he killed him like, what, like 140, 130. So that's guaranteed to kill. What about, uh. Ken? Ken? Ken's medium weight. And he has medium weight. Medium weight, but a little heavier. Uh, Ken's faster, right? Ken is, yeah, Ken is faster. For the, uh, for a cost a little bit of weight. Uh, Ryu's a slightly stronger also, right? Ryu's a little, um, his aerials are stronger. It's just that like, he can't really convert off of them as much. That's the only thing. And it's like, sure, you can with Ryu, is it gonna kill? is isn't guaranteed to kill most of the time. Oh, he took him to this stage. Okay, this stage is legal by by tournament standard rules, but it does benefit Snake in the long run because he throws C4, and the little grass hides C4. Yeah, look, see, like, the some of the spots, like, the, the grass is, like, high, so the C4 can be hidden behind it. Exactly. He, it's, it's up to uh, Nito if he wants, or Nido. He, it's up to him whether or not he wants to pay attention where it's at. All right, right now I can't see it. I lost track of it already. But it is possible to react to Snake's uh, C4 by the sound. The moment you hear Snake talk about like there, you can just uh, you can just shield it. You'll be fine. But you have to know whether or not you're gonna get hit by it. so hard to read that. Yeah. Ooh, that actually broke focus. Oh, focus is... Ken's focus oh. isn't that strong. Oh my! Wow. My heart hurts. <laughs> he actually broke it out of... He actually took him out of Cypher. With that back air. Trying to keep him out. I know it isn't a percentage uh, disadvantage right now. But all it takes is a couple good conversions and he'll be up in percent. Yep. The ledge pressure. Oh, nope. Overextended on ledge. If you, over, if you see anybody overextending on ledge, get up attack. But you got another, you're gonna hit him. Because in get up attack in this game, you have you have um you have a lot of instability on startup. On get up yeah. attack. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh. He shielded it. He let go. He let go last second. We're probably got shield poke. Not gonna kill. No, not yet. T4? Oh, that's what you get! What you get for going over the stage? That happens to him all the time. He goes so high, but then he just gets hit. Yeah, because he overextends. The thing is about Robert, it's like what kind of catches people off guard is that he overextends no matter what. He's disadvantage, advantage, he doesn't care. He's gonna overextend. Catches people off guard. But the thing is, is, if someone is able to just like, okay, you're gonna overextend right here, and then that's it. That's all it takes. Blow himself up. Okay. Keeping stage control. He's on his tournament stock right now. And that, no, nope. This could be uh, that one guy's last, uh, last stock for the tournament. This could possibly he, be he can bring it back though, it's Snake. It is Snake. And, oh no, he oh, missed it. That's it. That's it. Yep. And GG's to Naito, but unfortunately that one guy yep. out of the tournament. Naito, I was about to get mad as hell if he lost his DK. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why do you need to desync, you fucking, you overgrown badger? Oh. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> 